happened now earlier today and taking place right now. I don't know if we could get a shot of it. You are looking at some special Olympians that competed in the 2023 Bocce State Championships earlier today, and I had a chance to talk to Special Olympic CEO Matt Aaron and Dr. Bob Lombardi, Executive Director of the PIAA, exactly on the relationship between Special Olympics and the Pennsylvania Interathletic Association. Pleased to be joined at the half here by Matt Aaron, CEO of Special Olympics of uh, Pennsylvania, and Dr. Bob Lombardi, who is, of course, the executive director of the PIAA. We're here to talk about state championship bocce, which took place earlier here today. Matt, let me start with you and the relationship that you have with the PIAA and how it's been able to uh, lead into what we saw here earlier today. Yeah, thank you. It's been uh, 10 years now. It's hard to believe. But this has been an amazing 10-year partnership with the PIAA and with the Pennsylvania Department of Education and the Bureau of Special Education. Uh, together, we have grown this program now uh, statewide to 371 schools in 51 counties and now uh, officially all 12 PIAA districts. And what do you hope that these student athletes get out of this experience that took place earlier today? Well, we were here today for the state championships, and uh, this is a culmination for these students of all their hard work. And the most powerful thing about this program is it is just like any other varsity sport in the school. So all the students who were here today uh, earned the opportunity through regional championships to represent their school here at a championship. And our unified champion school program has three components, unified sports, youth leadership, and whole school engagement. And that really brings students with and without intellectual disabilities together on the same team. But when they're here, they're not Special Olympics athletes and unified partners, they're just student athletes and they're representing their school like any other varsity team. Sure, and Dr. Lombardi, why is it important for the PIAA to be associated with organizations like Special Olympics? Well, to provide opportunities for young people is really what PIAA is about. And to move into the Special Olympic world with Matt's leadership has been an outstanding marriage that we've had. He's, as he indicated, it's been 10 years and it's only going to grow more. We had 371 schools. We hope to get up to four, five, six hundred if we possibly can for the simple reason it provides opportunities for students to engage with their classmates in the athletic arena and learn all those great lessons you learn through athletics. And what is the process of becoming a, a member of this uh, organization? Well, I'll kick that back to Matt because he's, <laughs> he's the leader in uh, this area and I would like to ask Matt that question. Sure. Um, the powerful thing about this program is not just what happens here on the court or on the playing field. It's what happens in the school. It changes the whole climate and culture. So I just say to your viewers out there, if your school isn't a unified champion school, you want to be part of this. And the way to do that is get in touch with us at Special Olympics Pennsylvania, which is specialolympicspennsylvania.org, or have your go talk to your superintendent, your principal, your AD, your director of special education. Tell them you want to be a unified champion school and tell them to get in touch with the Pennsylvania Department of Education Bureau of Special Ed and say we want to be part of this too. And as we have seen firsthand through all our coverage of all the wonderful athletes, you had a great story today and a great championship scenario earlier today. We did. We had an amazing story. St. Mary's High School from Elk County, rural school district, first year bocce school, <laughs> got here to the championship and won the gold medal today. Amazing, amazing morning. What do you look forward uh, to most in the future for Special Olympics and this relationship with the PIAA? Uh, I just look forward to continuing to see this great relationship blossom, and I will certainly give the credit to Dr. Lombardi and his vision. We started at Frankfurt High School 10 years ago when we formed this relationship to advance unified sports. I couldn't have dreamed we'd be in 371 schools today, but the the future is bright. Our target is uh, 550 schools by the end of 2025, and, and together we're going to do that. And Dr. Lombardi, to be able to share this stage with the student-athletes, we're going to see basketball over the weekend, but this stage is just phenomenal for these youngsters. Oh, it's tremendous, and they get to compete on the championship floor here at the Giant Center. Also with it, we get to do our awards at halftime of our first game, mm -hmm. the AA Girls kickoff game. So it's been a great relationship, but we're going to grow uh, as men 
Matt said. Uh, he's awful humble about it, but it really, he's the moving, the mover and shaker behind this. He and Mike uh, Bavino really are the folks that are establishing this program and having young people participate in something. And also, we have track. And we have unified sure. sports and yep. track and yep. field this spring. And we're really looking forward to that because we're also expanding our wheelchair divisions as well as our para uh, ambulatory divisions. Terrific relationship between you guys. PIAA, Special Olympics, right here happening in our state of Pennsylvania. Matt Aaron, CEO, Special Olympics at Pennsylvania. Dr. Bob Lombardi, Executive Director of the PIAA. More basketball action when we return to the Giant Center.